Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamer Dad channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So before I jump into today's video, I want to take the time to thank everybody who has been participating in the Gamer Dad ecosystem, both here on the channel, even through the LCN clan on, on uh, PlayStation, and even some of you that are content creators that, you know, in our friend circle, we talk a little bit more about the game. I really want to say that I appreciate everybody because you guys are doing things that the external community in terms of new players and even, uh, you know, people who may be outside, they get to see and they get to observe. So today I have a build that was actually given to me by another content creator and he said I had to share it with you guys. And I do like the build. In fact, I'm working on getting the build fine tuned and he calls it the craft build because it melts. All right, all right, I get it. My delivery, my punchline was trash, but whatever. He did a better job when he actually did the punchline. So I guess I tried my best. Now, this build is a build that is not necessarily seen in the meta. If you look at striker builds that people are using, mostly the four pieces is what highlights the entire build. So because this was a non or off meta build in a sense, I was drawn to it because I like to use builds that are not necessarily, you know, the bread and butter builds or cookie cutter builds as we call them. So let me show you what this build is about. And you guys can give feedback in the comment section. Mr. Monkey Meat, this is your build idea. So... If there are any ideas that you also want to share in the comment section, go ahead and do so as well. So I'm using the Coyote's Mask. You guys know what the Coyote's Mask does at this point. And so that's one of the reasons I want to use it because I want to try to leverage getting the crits that it's able to stack for me. That's also, you know, something that you as a player, you could go with any other kind of mask you want to use. Um, I guess the alternate um, thing that you can do, the alternative, is to maybe use a striker mask and get the four pieces uh, and get the stacks. But again, this build doesn't necessarily highlight all four pieces. It's kind of doing its own thing and it's doing a good job at its own thing. I'm using the striker chest piece because, you know, I'm able to get one that has crit damage and crit chance. Um, you know, something that's really interesting is because I've logged in the mask, I'm actually in a position where I'm using the chest piece in this particular build, as well as a striker holster. The striker holster, I have critical hit damage on it, and that's pretty much what it is. And then I'm using the best in slot gloves and uh, knee pads, the contractor's gloves and the Fox's Spirit knee pads. Now, my contractor's gloves aren't necessarily the best. I got this one, I think, the moment I finished Warlords of New York. That was the one that was at the vendor, and I haven't been able to find one that's actually as good. Or maybe I just haven't been able to spec one and optimize one to be as good as this one. And I'm also using the Fox's Spirit knee pads that I have, and they're not necessarily the best. And so the, putting the build together, you really have to go with the Bullet King. The Bullet King really does work here because this is the highest sustained damage that you're getting. Now, initially per bullet, doesn't seem like you can compete with the other LMGs because the other LMGs, you know, they're really higher. This is based on the, um, I think the Bullet King is based on the Negev or something like that. And so that's pretty much what you're going to be getting. But that high RPM and the lack of reloads really does allow for you to be able to deal some really decent damage to enemy proxies. And so even from this clip, me and Mr. Monkey Me were running this particular build and my damage is actually quite decent for what I'm doing with it. If I get my crits actually work based on the Coyote's Mask, I do see a lot of gains. And so that was a really fun part of actually running this particular build. We're able to just basically melt enemy NPCs, able to do some really good work. And then don't forget, like I said in my last video where I talked about uh, you know, um, dealing with another agent using a pistol. I don't know if you've seen that build. You need to watch that, that video. I mean, somebody literally was using a um, build with the regular um, sidearm in PvP, which was crazy. We talked about the headshot um, paradigm, which is very much available here on PC. Like, we build to be able to get some headshot leverage. And so headshot damage is also something that does come into play when it comes to this particular build and when it comes to the way that we actually run it. So I want to go ahead and just basically open the floor for conversations with this particular build. I am using the um, gunner specialization because I do, a, I do uh, you know, like running it in the dark zone, just generating the extra ammo for me. That's one of the reasons that I like it. You don't necessarily have to do much. And I guess because, you know, we're used to kind of playing with the shield, you're not tanky enough in a build like this. Uh, you're still going to have to depend on cover. So it's a whole different play style from what a lot of us are kind of used to. But I also think that there is something to be said for the, you know, 
for the environment that you're using this particular weapon in. So the DZ that we're in, when we were running this particular, um, you know, build, when I was testing this build out, which I'm still working on, is a DZ that does have a lot of, uh, you know, landmass, a lot of real estate. So in that paradigm, I think this weapon works. Now, if you're in other DZs where some of the landmarks are much more close contact, I don't know how well this build is going to perform because what I've noticed is this build really does a good job in taking enemies down from a good range. You know, I don't necessarily have to go up close and personal, so I'm not necessarily worried about my armor being, you know, kind of low because I did ask Mr. Monkey me, like, what's your armor? He's like, it's not really high. I'm just literally very squishy. But that's the thing because, you know, you don't necessarily have to go face up with like your Lady Death or with whatever weapon you're using. This really does work in that scenario. But I'd love to hear your thoughts nonetheless. Do you think that, you know, there are improvements that can be made? Do you think that it would be better to run the four piece striker? Or do you think as a whole, just probably maybe run another set of items to get better output? That's something that's definitely welcome here in the comment section. Anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' this time and audience. Hopefully we'll talk in another one. Peace out.